Hi babes, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi beautiful faces, my name is Kayla, you can call me Kay, you can call me Kayla, it's definitely up to you. What's good, what's poppin', what you doing sis, let me know down below in the comments. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I know it's Wednesday and on Wednesday we typically wear pink, but this is my first sit down video of 2022, so I just wanted to keep it very neutral and chill with you guys. Hopefully you enjoy this video, this is going to be for all my small YouTubers and this is just going to be a growth video of how I plan on and how you can also grow in 2022. If you're interested, stay tuned, watch the entire video, give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Let's go. So this is going to be how I gain my first 500 subscribers or just growth tips and tricks for you guys being small YouTubers. Now with small YouTuber support, we are a community and this is for all small YouTubers. 2022 is the year for growth. 2022, you will gain everything that you desire. So this year, I just really am focusing on growth on all of my platforms. Any of your goals right now, make sure you drop them in the comments for me. Let me know what your channel is about and where you currently stand with your subscriber count and what your goal for this year is. So I'm coming to you guys. I just hit 530 subscribers. So thank you guys for all your love and support. But I have similar content like this on my channel already. I also did a how I gained my first 100 subscribers. And I have a whole tips and tricks playlist. So make sure you check that out. It'll be pinned on the screen and down below in the pinned comments. So the first step to growing on any platform is branding and networking. So with branding and networking, you just want to make sure that you yourself being the brand, you're branding yourself, you're representing yourself how you want to be represented and not selling yourself short. Now with networking, you want to be reaching out to different companies or different creators, digital um, content creators, anybody that's a YouTuber or a small YouTuber with similar content as yourself, you guys can be working together to grow together. So once you have two subscribings or their subscribers and your subscribers, you do the math. Um, but you just want to make sure that you guys have similar content or some type of similarity that is going to help you guys come up with a good idea that's going to benefit to growing both of your channels. You also can take social media and use it to your advantage as far as promotional purposes, as far as Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. On Instagram and Facebook, I know for a fact you can boost your posts and with those boosts you can bring them in to your profile like your Instagram account or you can take them directly to a link or um, a website so you can take them to your YouTube channel if you're posting sneak peeks or polls for your channel this is very helpful I've paid coin for promotion before and you get to see all your insights like when to upload what's best working for you as far as time frames whether you need to be posting at 2 to 3 or 5 to 6 or 7 to 8 this is going to help you narrow it down so if you want to set a schedule for your channel you can do this so now we're going to talk a little bit about sub for sub I have a video dedicated to this on my channel sub for sub does not work so if you have people in your dms texting you whatever saying subscribe for subscribe sub for sub like for like um join us following trying whatever don't do it it's not worth it it was no yesterday it's a no today it's gonna be no tomorrow like just don't do it youtube flags things like this youtube the YouTube partnership that you're trying to get, yeah, YouTube specifically flags things such as not engaging, not liking videos. If you're not interested in the person's content, just do not subscribe to the channel because you're going to be wasting your time and their time. Sub for sub is not beneficial to anyone. YouTube is going to flag these subscriptions, all these false subscribers, and be like, oh, this person must be paying for their following. It's not going to work. You're going to go to sleep with 200 subscribers and wake up with 100. So just don't waste your time. Now, you do want genuine supporters. So just make sure that you're engaging with your audience. Engaging, engaging period. Um, if someone's commenting, make sure you're replying to every comment. Make sure you're liking their comments. Let them know that you're actually watching and you're willing to communicate. And, you know, be genuine back. Now, if you just ain't got genuine on in your body then I ain't got nothing for you but just be genuine and let everything flow organically because what's for you is for you 
Next, we're going to talk about being consistent and having a schedule. Now, when I say consistency, consistency is key. You have to be consistent with any platform if you expect to see growth. You have to make sure that you're constantly uploading. You need to set a schedule. If you don't have a schedule, I highly recommend it. Of course, I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, and on Friday. I do shout outs. So make sure you check out the pinned comments to be featured in my next video. But you want to have a schedule, and that's just an example. And if you want to upload just once a week, make sure you have that content day where you can do all of your content creating for all of your different platforms. Make sure you're taking your Instagram pictures, doing your Reels, your TikToks. And you can also use your Instagram Reels and TikToks for possible YouTube content. Just make sure no watermarks or anything like that is visible in the video or just edit it to where you can also upload it onto YouTube. This is beneficial and keeps you consistent. Keep it in mind, okay, I'm spilling some tea. Um, but you also want to make sure that you have weekly uploads already. You're posting YouTube Shorts. Now that they offer that, YouTube Shorts also help with growing your channel. And just paying, atten paying attention to your insights and your engagement and that your editing is improving so if you're editing your own videos which i know you mostly are um i edit my own videos and just take your time go back and look at your edits and have fun with it your editing will approve improve over time i know my mine has um but editing is fun it's what you make of it just be creative and unique and editing is going to be a breeze engagement with your channel now when I say engagement, I mean your likes, your comments, um, if you're doing polls, if you're using cards and end screens, these are going to cause engagement. This is going to cause your click rate to go through the roof. Um, if they're watching your videos um, for like more than 50% of the time, your average duration will go up. All of these things are things you want to keep in mind when you're trying to grow your channel. And you want to pay attention to them so um, commenting under similar content so if they're small youtubers or even big youtubers that you do enjoy watching that have similar content to you a easy comment or a simple comment about your channel or um, what you learned from them or what you take from their videos can also help somebody or intrigue someone's interest in looking at your channel and seeing what type of content you also offer so keep that in mind um, I have a few YouTubers that I do enjoy, like it's Naya and others. I will put them on the screen. I check them out at least once every week or even sometimes more. I find myself on YouTube a lot watching videos during my lunch break and things like that. So YouTube is my life. So there are ways to improve on YouTube with certain apps such as YouTube Studio. This is one of my favorite apps to use to track my insights, my comments, so I don't miss a comment if I do. I'll directly go onto my YouTube channel and check out my comments. So please don't get me if I missed any. But um, I use YouTube Studio a lot. I also use Instagram, TikTok. I do YouTube Shorts. So I use several and multiple apps to make sure that I'm staying consistent on my channel. Understanding your analytics. I probably would do a separate video on this, but just understanding your specific watch hours, how many watch hours you're gaining from your videos, your click-through rate, how often your videos are getting clicked on, whether they're clicking on it because of the thumbnail or because you had a sneak peek in this video, did you do a different intro, did you have a new intro, did you include cards, did any of your playlists or cards get clicked on throughout this video. These are things that YouTube will help you understand. Um, there's many different videos and informational post I can sit right here on the screen for you but just keep that in mind analytics are very important to understand if you don't have a good understanding on them. So another tip that can help you grow is commenting under your suggested videos. These are videos suggested specifically for you content that you may have similar um, content to or people you may watch frequently or that you're subscribed to so go ahead and give them a comment watch the video give them a like and some of my um YouTubers that I do watch also offer shout out so that's free promotion and just keep that in mind when you're commenting under there that you are also branding yourself this is going to get you noticed when you're commenting under different videos and suggested videos just keep in mind 
um, that you want to have similar content. If they're a new YouTuber, let them know that you're a new YouTuber as well. Um, if you offer shout outs, give them a shout out in your next video. Um, getting involved in Facebook groups or Instagram groups, DMs, group chats. I'm in a lot of Facebook groups um, as far as black YouTubers, small YouTubers, women YouTuber groups, everything. So this is another way of free promotion, free promotion and getting yourself out there branding. I do a lot of promotion on Facebook. If you don't know, you know. And Pinterest. Those are like one of my top two um, engagement platforms that are suggesting my content. And you also want to be in tune and in touch with your hashtags. Hashtag small YouTuber support is really popular. So you want to be using these trendy hashtags or creating hashtags with your name or like road to 600 subscribers. You want to let everyone know or have taggable content that can also be searched, which is very important for YouTube growth. Um, with hashtags, I try to stay active with my hashtags. I try to engage with them 30 minutes before a post and 30 minutes after. So keep that in mind as well. That way, those people and those posts that you're liking can also come check your post out or your profile. I really hope these tips were informing and helpful or help somebody out. If they did, I'm glad. So thank you babe so much for tuning in today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button, give this video a big thumbs up, drop all of your comments down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, turn the subscribe button great because we don't like red over here. Okay. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.